Welcome to Magic Arcanum, I'm Ryan Gomez. Behind the scenes is Nicole Burdick, and we're so glad you're here because it's story time! So I was looking through the cards in Ravnica Remastered the other day, and I was hit pretty hard by the nostalgia factor, which inspired me to come up with a list of my favorite representatives for each of the plane's ten guilds. This little trip down memory lane is sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, and I invite you to learn all about their latest release, Ravnica Remastered, by using my link in the, uh, undercity of this video. Alright, so without further preamble, here are my ten favorite guild cards across all of Ravnica in no particular order. From the Boros Legion, I've got a fondness for Boros Recruit, found in Ravnica City of Guilds, aka the first set that took place on this now iconic plane. Why do I like this little goblin so much? Well, he was a key component in one of my favorite pauper decks, which was built around Battlegate Mimic and as many red and white spells as you could get at common. And the recruit's natural first strike made him a great target for the deck's signature aura, Scourge of the Nobilis, which basically let me assemble my own fire-breathing Baneslayer Angel at common. It was a fun deck that got me a lot of spicy wins thanks to this humble Boros recruit and his pointy stick. From the Simic Combine, my favorite card is Unexpected Results, a rare sorcery found in Gate Crash. Nature can be unpredictable, and while the scientists in this guild do their best to guide evolution with a steady hand, or tentacle, even they can end up bewildered by their own experimentations. Unexpected Results really captures what these Simic are all about, and I built many decks that tried to cheat out expensive cards, only to find myself staring at yet another land. At least this one lets you return the spell to your own hand to try again. You know it's a good day for science when you live to repeat your experiments. Basilica Bellhaunt from Ravnica Allegiance is my favorite Orzhov card. The Syndicate loves to collect what it is owed, and this 3-4 spirit takes each of your opponents to the cleaners by forcing them to discard a card, before depositing a healthy 3 points into your own life bank. This uncommon was actually part of a 10-card cycle that gave each guild something for double-double of their respective colors, but I think the Orzhov one has the best overall design. It robs from your opponents and gives you something helpful at the same time, exactly like a corrupt and wealth-obsessed church probably would. The Golgari Swarm gave us Vraska, one of my favorite characters in all of Magic, starting from her first appearance in Return to Ravnica. I have been playing Magic since Exodus in 1998, but back then I didn't have a great local game store, just a sports memorabilia place that also happened to sell trading cards and other collectibles. So, back then, I mostly played kitchen table casual with constructed decks made from whatever cards I could get my hands on. Years later, I would learn about limited formats and find a place to attend my first pre-release, which was for Return to Ravnica. And waiting for me in my sealed pool was Vraska the Unseen, which started my decades-long fascination with this Gorgon assassin, who would eventually work her way up to Queen of the Golgari, but not until after carrying me through one of my most memorable pre-release experiences. While the story follows Vraska all over the multiverse, there is another Ravnica native who seems quite happy to stay where he is, and that's Ral Zarek, my pick to represent the Izzet League. We've had a couple different Ral cards now over the years, but they've always shown him on Ravnica. It seems, after putting in all that work to climb so high within his guild, he has no interest in exploring other planes. A spark is one of the rarest gifts in the multiverse, and this guy has his ignite and then says, no thanks, I'm good. Anyway, Ral is also interesting because for Ravnica Remastered, 
they are reprinting the version of him that uses coin flips to grant you extra turns, which is a really fun way to capture the chaotic energy of his lightning-based powers. Ravnica seems to be home to quite a bit of randomness, the more I think about it, which is appropriate for my next favorite card, Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. Okay, this is one you can't even get yet because he's appearing in Murders at Karloff Manor, which releases in February. But he's the latest in a long line of cards depicting this demon legend, and they're all pretty great. The sacrifice theme ties them all together, but more than that, it's the sense of showmanship that I appreciate. As the leader of his own cult, Rakdos demands excellence in entertainment and he sets a powerful example himself whenever he's on the battlefield. In stark opposition to the bloody theatrics of Rakdos and his followers, we find Knight of Autumn from Guilds of Ravnica. This rare dryad knight has three very handy modes that make her a perfect inclusion in any deck built to show the virtues of the Selesnia Conclave. Low on life? Gain four. Troubled by a pesky artifact or enchantment? Blow it up! Falling behind in the arms race, take the counters, get yourself a 3-mana 4-3. Able to adapt and grow to fit your needs at any moment in the game, Knight of Autumn feels like your most dependable friend, which makes her a perfect Selesnya card. But uh, if you want something a bit larger, might I suggest Ravager Worm from Ravnica Allegiance. This mythic rare gives the Gruul clans a lot of tools as they fight back against the ever-encroaching metropolis that houses the other nine guilds. I especially like how the art on this card gives you a tip on how to use it. Pick the fight on arrival mode and you can knock most flyers right out of the sky. The riot ability lets you pick between a bigger body or a hasty one, but for me, there's nothing more satisfying than smashing an opponent's non-basic land. I mean, that's kind of the Gruul's whole thing, right? From the Azorius Senate, my favorite card is definitely Azor's Elocutors, found in Return to Ravnica. This is an alternate win condition on a creature in a guild that is supposed to be ensuring fairness and equality for all. But that's the beauty of it. The Azorius aren't fair, and love to use the rules to their own advantage whenever they can. So of course they would have a card that encourages you to tie up all of your opponent's creatures while inching yourself closer to victory in the most bureaucratic method possible. Lastly, we come to House Demir, the perfectly respectable couriers and librarians of the plane who simply catalog and pass information from one end of the giant city to the other. Of course, hiding in the shadows and probably reading all of those messages, you'll find Lazav, a shape-shifting mastermind with aspirations beyond Ravnica. He's a fascinating character who impersonated Chandra to outwit Dovin Bon in the War of the Spark novel, and then effectively became a hero to his own plane, before selling it out to Tezzeret. So you never really know where you stand with this guy. This makes him a more interesting villain than, say, an elder dragon who just wants to dominate everything, because with Lazav, he actually makes you feel like you can trust him, or that he's a good person to have on your side. But then you learn the only side he has is his own, and I'm really curious to see what he does now that the Omen Paths are a thing and the whole multiverse has opened itself to his schemes. The fact that he was reprinted in Ravnica Remastered makes me think he'll remain an important character to watch. And I wouldn't be surprised to learn he has something to do with the murders at Karloff Manor. But what about you? Do you trust Lazav? And which cards would you pick for each of the guilds of Ravnica? Let me know in the comments and check out my link to Ravnica Remastered while you're down there. Thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the great stories you'll only find here on Magic Arcanum. We'll see ya!